Hello, everybody, and welcome to Nickel O's World Podcast. Welcome, welcome. If you are a first-time viewer, thank you so much for checking me out. And if you are a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. I know it's been a majorly long time, three-year hiatus. Lots happened. I'll get into it at the end. In case some of y'all are only here for the knitting, crocheting, and misadventures. Grab your favorite beverage of choice. I am drinking some decaf coffee in one of my favorite vintage cups. How are you guys? I hope this finds you well on a Monday. Normally, I like to try to record on a Sunday. But life gets crazy. Um, places you can find me. You can find me almost everywhere on the interwebs as Nikki18229. Um, if Ravelry is a safe place for you, we have a Ravelry group, Nickel O's World Podcast. Join it and be part of a wonderful community. We also have a Facebook group called Nick PD. Sorry, that's my cat. Um, a Facebook group called Nickel O's World Podcast. Please feel free to join it and become part of a wonderful and safe community. I am a safe community. I will not put up with anything bad. Um, you guys let me know what you think of the new video quality and the editing. I'm not going to bombard you with a lot of finished objects. Like, major. I'm just going to show you what I've recently done. Um, you have seen them in the intro. The first one is, if you're looking for any of my finished objects, if, again, if Ravelry is safe for you, they are on my Ravelry page. I am currently trying to figure out another way or where to post my finished objects for you guys to see. Petey. So, if you know a place that is good and you currently use it, please let me know. All right, my first finished object is a seat. It's a seat cushion. I am looking it up while I am talking to you guys. It is a drops design pattern called Wild Flower Seat, and it is zero dash eight four zero Wild Flower Seat. It is a free. Bleh. It is a free pattern. I modified it from what they did they made two to cover a seat I just mine is sitting on top of my chair and I used one cake of brunette blanket in clear skies colorway and I just kept crocheting till I ran out of yarn and finished it was a quick fun little project and I I thoroughly enjoyed it I promise you my cat did not hurt himself. He just knocked something down. You will get lots of PD antics. Um, my next project. It is by Arn and Carlos. It is in their 2022 Easter egg collection. And I did the duck. Forgive the embroidery y'all. I'm not, I've never done duplicate stitch or embroidery before, so the beak is funky. And if you're looking that close at it, why? Excuse me. But it came out. Um, I used some leftover scrap yarn I had. And y'all, it does not take a lot of yarn to make one of these. If you're wondering what I filled it with, I went to Dollar Tree and I got some of these eggs. And as I got closer to finishing it, I just crocheted it. Crocheted it. Yeah. I knit it in there. And it has a little hanger and it can hang. I have to hide it from Petey because Petey thinks it's a toy. Um, I also got these, depending on if my next project's small enough to fit in here, but I don't think it will be my next egg. Um, those are my only two finished objects, y'all. 
we're going to move on to works in progress. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Nickel O's World Podcast. Welcome, welcome. If you are a first-time viewer, thank you so much for checking me out. And if you are a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. I know it's been a majorly long time, three-year hiatus. Lots happened. I'll get into it at the end. In case some of y'all are only here for the knitting, crocheting, and misadventures. Grab your favorite beverage of choice. I am drinking some decaf coffee in one of my favorite vintage cups. How are you guys? I hope this finds you well on a Monday. Normally, I like to try to record on a Sunday. But life gets crazy. Um, places you can find me. You can find me almost everywhere on the interwebs as Nikki18229. Um, if Ravelry is a safe place for you, we have a Ravelry group, Nickel O's World Podcast. Join it and be part of a wonderful community. We also have a Facebook group called Nick PD. Sorry, that's my cat. Um, a Facebook group called Nickel O's World Podcast. Please feel free to join it and become part of a wonderful and safe community. I am a safe community. I will not put up with anything bad. Um... You guys let me know what you think of the new video quality and the editing. I'm not going to bombard you with a lot of finished objects. Like, major. I'm just going to show you what I've recently done. Um, you have seen them in the intro. The first one is, if you're looking for any of my finished objects, if again, if Ravelry is safe for you, they are on my Ravelry page. I am currently trying to figure out another way or where to post my finished objects for you guys to see. Petey. So if you know a place that is good and you currently use it, please let me know. All right, my first finished object is a seat. It's a seat cushion. I am looking it up while I am talking to you guys. It is a drops design pattern called wild flower seat and it is 0-840 wild flower seat it is a free bleh. it is a free pattern i modified it from what they did they made two to cover a seat i just mine is sitting on top of my chair and i used one cake of brunette blanket in clear skies colorway and I just kept crocheting till I ran out of yarn and finished. It was a quick fun little project and I I thoroughly enjoyed it. I promise you my cat did not hurt himself he just knocked something down. You will get lots of peaty antics. Um my next project, it is by Arn and Carlos. It is in their 2022 Easter egg collection. And I did the duck. Forgive the embroidery, y'all. I'm not, I've never done duplicate stitch or embroidery before, so the beak is funky. And if you're looking that close at it, why? <laughs> It came out, um, I used some leftover scrap yarn I had, and y'all, it does not take a lot of yarn to make one of these. If you're wondering what I filled it with, I went to Dollar Tree and I got some of these eggs. And as I got closer to finishing it, I just crocheted it, crocheted it, yeah. I knit it in there. And it has a little hanger and it can hang. I have to hide it from Petey because Petey thinks it's a toy. 
Um, I also got these, depending on if my next project's small enough to fit in here, but I don't think it will be my next egg. Um, those are my only two finished objects, y'all. We're going to move on to works in progress. All right, works in progress. Um, again, if Ravelry is safe, you can find all my projects on Ravelry. And again, if you know a place that I can post that is safe, let me know. Um, my first work in progress is going to be a corner to corner blanket. I do not have a page set up for it yet because I wasn't sure if I was going to like it. Um, if you crochet, you've probably made one of these or know somebody that has. This is my first corner to corner blanket. I did it mostly to use some, my yarn in my stash up that I wouldn't you really, I really wouldn't use together for another project. Um, this is some Bernat yarn that I got at a yard sale. A lot of my scrap yarn, most of it I've picked up at a yard sale. I mean, don't get me wrong, I do have leftover scrap yarn of my own <laughs> that I do use. But I also love to pick up bits and bobs from yard sales. This came from a yard sale. This is in the colorway gold. I have another one of these, and it's 364 yards. And, y'all, I call this maroon. I'm not even going to try to say the name of it because I say it wrong but there it is yes you can see I pay two dollars for two of the maroon and two dollars for two of the gold um, this is 364 yards as well I have another one um, I'm just working these till they get further along and I can decrease it I may I'm going to put this in my donation bin my bin that I have for stuff that I donate or know somebody who could use it. I feel it's a good way to give back. Um, I'm just doing a two color repeat. When it, I feel it's far enough along to decrease, then I will decrease it. Um, you will see that again. I try to work on that in the morning or sometimes when I watch TV. Um, my next work in progress, sorry, I heard, is by Arn and Carlos, their 2022 egg collection. I'm not real far on this guy, but that's where I'm at so far. And these are 3.25 Knitter's Pride Zooms. Or Zings. Why am I thinking Zoom? I don't know. Because they seem to, these projects seem to zoom on them. Um, but yeah, I do love these. They're very similar to Signature. Uh, these eggs are actually a quick knit. Like, you, you can knit one watching a TV show or... A movie or a podcast but I really enjoy the knit and I take my time with it my next project I started I started this back in December and it's called the Ashford shawl it is by lion brand it is on Ravelry it shows that it's a paid-for pattern but if you go to the Lion Brand website, it is actually a free pattern. Here's where I am at so far. And it is basically a fisherman's rib. The yarn I have, it it is being kept in this bag from one of my knit club of the month from Mary Maxim when I was in it. And the yarn is from Mary Maxim. It's from one of their knit club kits. It's called Ultra, Ultra Mellow Spun DK. And it's a very nice yarn to work with. 
This is probably going to be kept from back of my computer chair. Something just to wrap around me if I'm cold. These are my prim knitting needles. I iron. This is coming from a suggestion. Arn and Carlos said how much they liked them. And I've heard other knitters say that they like them. And I had to give them a try. And I very much like them. They're a US 6 or 4 point mil knitting needle. So yeah. And I'm not... I haven't been zooming along on my knits. I've just been kind of taking my time. Because I have really bad tennis elbow. And there's times I have to take a break. So, anywho. My next project is another crochet project it is another corner to corner blanket you guys see the you guys are seeing the colors very well on here but that's what it looks like so far it's obviously these if you've never knit a corner to corner and this is technically my second one first time crocheting but they grow and then when you want to get towards the end, you have to decrease it. Kind of like knitting. Um, this this one's going to be for myself. It's going to lay at the end of my bed in case I'm watching TV and just feel like covering up but don't want to get under the covers. You know how that is, right? I know I'm not the only one out there. But those are my works in progress. Sorry, I thought I paused for a minute. All right, we'll move on to life stuff. What's been going on? If you don't want to stick around for that, thank you for coming and checking me out. And I hope you come back again for another time. All right, y'all, what has been going on? It's been a crazy three years. I took, the reason I took a break was back in 2020, my dad got sick and got sepsis and a whole array of medical problems and was in the hospital and then my 95 year old Nana got sick and ended up in the hospital. She sadly ended up passing away June 15th and a few weeks almost 10 days to a few weeks later on July 3rd of that of 2020 my dad passed away. Y'all, when I say it sent me into a tailspin and it made my anxiety and depression worse than what it was, it did. Um, yeah, it took me this long to get to where I'm at. It's been a chore and in the whole process, November of last year, I lost our beloved Z that you guys if you've been with me have seen on my podcast Z my dog my boxer he sadly was sick and he had to cross him over the rainbow bridge but in the meantime while I had Z I also adopted two cats which he loved dearly he they, those were like his babies they were his buddies they were his babies um there's a total of four cats and the one you see him right now his name is Petey he's probably the one you're going to see on this podcast most often because he's a mama's boy and he's also curious he will be a year next month he's like my whatever you're doing I'm doing mom and that's okay and you might hear a screeching in the background, and that would be my guinea pig sweets. Yes, Petey is a tuxedo, if you're wondering. He's a tuxedo cat. It's not a breed, it's just what they call him, tuxedo. Um, but we've been doing good. You know, my, branch, my tree branches got broken, and new branches are sprouting out. I'm just learning every day. And I'm in a good spot, and I've missed sitting down and chatting with y'all and recording, so I'm back. 
And again, if you know another site to use besides Ravelry that's good, please let me know. I am game to try it out. Because I miss chatting with y'all and those who have stuck by me this whole time. Thank you so much. We are going to let you go. And we will definitely see you next week. And hopefully we have more to show you guys. Bye.